name's Sarah Carpenter. I'm the co-owner of the American Avalanche Institute, and I'm an outdoor research athlete. So the reason we're all out here is we love to ski, and we want to ski safely. So what I'm going to talk about right now is how to interpret data from a snow pit and actually use it to make a decision. The first question I ask myself every time I'm out traveling an avalanche terrain is do I have a recipe for an avalanche? Do I have a weak layer underneath it? And do I have a bed surface? The most important thing about digging a snow pit is I want it to be safe. It's a bummer if you get avalanched when you're assessing the stability of the terrain you want to ski. I want it to be representative, meaning similar aspect, similar elevation of terrain that I'm going to ski. And then I want it to be polite. I'm not going to put it in the middle of everyone's favorite run. This is why you don't mess with me in the backcountry. So I just isolated an extended column test, 90 centimeters wide by 30 centimeters deep, and fully isolated on all four sides. What I'm looking for now is strength, how hard do I have to hit this column before it fails? Structure, do I have a path of least resistance that if something fails, it'll travel through? And propagation potential, if I initiate a failure, does it propagate across the column? So the result that we got was extended column tests with propagation at 24 taps. What that means to me is the snowpack is strong but there is a path of least resistance underneath this sun crust. And if I initiate a failure, it could propagate. Based on these results, I feel more confident dropping into steeper terrain. Whenever I do get propagation on an extended column test, I am gonna pay close attention and I am gonna take pause and evaluate the terrain that I'm dropping into. So just as a reminder, Never base your entire decision on one snow pit. And if you ever get results that confuse you, you can always adjust your terrain. We can always control the slope angles that we ski if we're unclear on our stability. So have fun and thanks for tuning in.